Um, so you were well received in the UK by the by audiences you played to as well. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, you know, when people know our music and they come to the shows, it's like, it's a party. It's like having a good time listening to good music and it makes you, you know, it makes you look at your life in a cooler way sometimes, you know, that's the cool thing about music, so, yeah. I was kind of worried, actually, our first show in the UK when we were there was Portsmouth and we were with Trail of Dead. And they were telling us how, like, you know, English crowds really don't like opener bands and they really like booing off opener bands. That really didn't help the, uh... <laughs> The vibe for that night, but uh, I was feeling really confident yeah. before we went on stage. But we uh, we went on and they they didn't and they really enjoyed themselves. It was just like a, a nice little omen, I guess, for the rest of the tour. You guys been on tour for about two months now. Oh yeah, just a couple months. Tell me where you guys have been up to. Where have you been? Well, we've been touring for the last two months. No. Well, we played a, you know, a sold out UK tour, which is pretty nice. You know. Nice intimate rooms, 400, 500 size rooms. And then we went to uh, Japanese restaurant, Holland. <laughs> yeah, we did Japanese restaurant. And, the zoo. and uh, Scandinavia, Spain, and now we're here in Australia. In the Netherlands. Holland. Oh, you said it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 we also went to this Dutch country. Yeah. And then yeah, that country really speak Dutch. It's fun. Where? Uh, what's it like being on the road? It's um. Oh, yeah, it's Mateo, that one. It's like a roller coaster ride. You know? You're going up, you're like, oh shit, like, you know, time to go up, and then it's like, oh! And then it's over, and you're like, man, like, wow. And I'm like, let's get online again. And you're in line, and there's the jitters, and then you're, once again, going up. What's the plan for the future? Have kids. <laughs> yeah, me and Albert are going to adopt. Yeah. They won't let us. Running for Senate. They won't let us have it ourselves. So, adoption all the way. Maybe opening up a little chapeau shop. <laughs> Work with kids, children. <laughs> Are they forward to taking your international success back to the U.S. Well, oh, yeah, it's our home, you know. It's always nice to uh, hopefully do well where you come from. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I can't wait to tour in America. I can't wait to, you know. The speak, out in America. Hang out with American people again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Actually, yeah, no, I don't know. It's no, it's yeah. I definitely, I definitely hope it, it goes well in America because that would that would you know that would be like a dream come true. I mean, it's still a dream come true now to have like interest, you know. Is it just me, or is it really strange with this guy going back and forth <laughs> with the camera? Yeah. It's, <laughs> I kind of like it. It kind of re reminds and you of those. It so. Is that fun for you? Those, those, no. action, those action movies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Thank you. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That was easy. Those were all your questions, John? Yeah. I thought you stayed up all night. <laughs> I did. You gotta be kidding me. I right? did, but I wasn't working on the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking um, your mom. You guys have to go down and do another camera run for me, they told me. So, and then we come back up and just do a couple of ideas. I mean, we'll just get a couple of words to watch out. Nice, guys. Some guy came up to him and said, yeah, set up the drums right there. And he set up the whole drum kit. And then some other guy came and was like, who told you to set up the drums? Like, the drums don't go there. They go there. And the kid, like, do the whole thing over again. And then another guy came and was, like, talking shit. So he was just like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Nine chiefs and one Indian. It reminds me of that big... Big Chief No Fart Joke. Whoa, what's that? It's constipation. I just can't do it. You know? So I was like, here, take these pills, come back in a week. They had pills and, so like, and well, like, whatever. It's like herbal pills. I like smoke this pipe. And he comes back, right? He's just like, still, man, I can't do it. He's like, here, take these stronger ones. Okay. Comes back a month later, still can't do it. Like I've told it like to the wrong people, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Like offended by it. It's like, it's like there's these three guys that are like captured by this like <laughs> tribe in like the ring of the forest or whatever, and like they're all captured. And it's like they ask each one, they ask the first guy like, "Death or Bunda?" And then he's like, "Well, you know, I don't want to die." He's like, "Bunda, you know?" <laughs> like the whole tribe like just like fucks him in the ass, like for like you know days. I don't know. And, like he comes back, he's like, "Whatever you do, just don't choose Bunda, choose Death." <laughs> And like so the second guy, you know, like death or boon dying, he's like, 
gotta go with Bunda though, you know, I don't wanna die. <laughs> so it's like fine. So like like if the same thing happens again, everyone fucks him in the ass and he's just like he wants to die. He just all he wants to be is be dead. And then we'll let him and he comes back and he's like, Listen, oh, he wants to be his be dead. He's like choose <laughs> death. Do not choose Bunda. And like and then like the last guy's it's like fine. He's like, alright. <laughs> It's an old one, but it's a good one.